Welcome back to the ninth gym program, and today we are continuing the team build and battle series with 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 another episode of team build and battle. Makes sense, right? Okay, so today I'm going to be building a team around Sogaleo, Sogaleo, so Sogaleo, Sogaleo, and it's going to be a pretty straightforward weakness policy full metal body build. So I did a I did a build on this guy yesterday, and we're going to use the cool build that I have, um, that I have had made had made for myself and uh boom okay so all right so i added it into the, the thing this is what i used on the guide yesterday this is my guide from yesterday uh for soul galio go weakness policy full metal body sun steel strike earthquake wild charge protect and then a pretty wild spread here so 244 and uh plus and two attack with adam and nature just so we can be really fast and then 140 and 116 defense this was to help live a couple of different things and then four into special defense and four into speed. This helps us live a lot of things. Uh, so the damage calcs are pretty good. We live glass chair attack, which is really good. Um, weakness policy boosted glass chair attack, which is really good. And then we also live uh, life orb glass chair when we're non dynamax. So that's really cool. And then Lando T attacks non dynamax if we intimidate. So we're going to probably have something like Incineroar on the team um, just to add to that. It'll, it'll be a good time. There was something that I needed the special defense for, only the 4 and 140, but I don't remember it offhand, but it's okay. So Galio Weakness Policy uh, is going to be the name of the game here. We're going to go Spectre. Interestingly enough, I'm going to have a Spectre on the team. I like it a lot. I think it's cool. Grimne. So whenever you take out a guy, you get a plus one. We're going to go Shadow Ball for the damage, but then I'm going to go Will-O-Wisp, Bulldoze, and Protect. Whoops. Bulldoze and Protect. And it'll be a fun time there. Probably go Focus Sash, maybe. Uh, what are current Spectres really using the most here? Uh, I could go for, like, a Spell Tag. That was the one that I was thinking. The 20% extra damage there. Uh, 1.2 times damage into Shadow Ball. So that's an option. I could also go for Focus Sash, which is the other one that I was meaning, uh, mainly thinking of. And then you could go for, like, Life Orb or something. But this is more of a supportive build. Uh, could even go for like uh, the specs, uh, not specs, um, the safety goggles. That could be a good idea too. I think I'm going for focus sash. I think that's the most likely. We're not going to be setting up any weather or anything. So, uh, you know, we're not going to be chipping our own spectre. We're just going to go for the bulldoze uh, on the Solgalio, which will be pretty good. We can have Solgalio on lead with spectre potentially. Uh, and then we have other things for that as well. Let's go ahead and max this guy's special attack and speed. And that's going to be it for him. Uh, very basic stuff there But we'll have the will as well and it will be a little bit weird because we'll have Tapu Fini on the team as well Just so our soul Galio can't get will o -Wisp. but it's fine if this uh, is then a shadow ball machine after will o -Wisp is like gone with Tapu Fini That's okay We can also always change the terrain with wild charge and then we are gonna be able to will o -Wisp while still not being able to get spored So a couple of different good options there uh, is good. I'm gonna go ahead and nab that last used Incineroar spread just because it's what I've been using recently. It's pretty good. It has enough uh, physical bulk to outlive the uh, Glass Trier or the Calyrex combo, the Calyrex Ice, uh, which is good. A Guava Berry just for a Pinch Berry, Intimidate. We have Fake Out, Parting Shot, which is good. Snarl because that's been spicy and really strong recently. And Flare Blitz um, just to give us that fire coverage as well. We'll have water here with the Muddy Water. And uh, it'll be a good time. The Incineroar, the 68 uh, defense is in 244, lets us live the glass tree. I showed that calc last time and I made the build the time before last time. So, yeah, we're just going to go with this. Uh, 190, 196 as well. I said that weird. 196. 196. So, yeah, so that's, that's what we're going to do. And then we're going to have Tapu Fini. We're going to take the last spread from Tapu Fini as well. Uh, I was, yeah, I'm not being very creative today, but it's because I made these spreads in last ones. Uh, so yeah, if you want to watch that, uh, the Calyrex one, I made this Tapu Fini spread, and then uh, on the, yeah, I think I made the Incineroar spread actually last time too. So just watch the Calyrex video, and and uh, I'll have the Tapu Fini and the Incineroar spread. Um, both in there now it could go basic and go for like a, a moongus or a rillaboom i kind of don't really want to i'm thinking maybe cartana could be good but we are going to be maxing Solgaleo like 100 percent of the time so i don't really want another pokemon that's like likely gonna max so i kind of want to like step out of the box a little i know i have incinera on top of finny here um probably gonna just go rillaboom like it's just so solid it's just so solidly good you know what i mean 
Regilek is good. What do I want? What am I looking for in the team? So we're a little weak to ground here. So I wouldn't mind like a flyer, right? Maybe like a flyer. We're very physically offensive. Um, actually special offensive. So we have two physical and one special. I could go for another special attacker. Um, like something that's big that doesn't need to max. Like it could be like a Moltres could be solid. Like a Moltres Galar. Or even Zapdos. But Zapdos really wants to max I think way more frequently than um, anything else. So we're kind of looking for like a special attacking guy, right? That does some pretty good stuff. I could also go Grimmsnarl on the team. That would give us another form, or an, actually any form of speed control with uh, Prankster T-Wave and screens. That could be really useful. So Grimmsnarl will probably want to use. Amoongus is very solid, but like I said, I don't really want the Amoongus on the team. Uh, especially with Tapu Fini. Like, I just don't really want it. I mean, I, I put Tapu Fini on the same team as Amoongus all the time. So that's not really a big problem, but it is there. I wouldn't mind having Whimsicott, to be honest. Because we are outspeeding... Um, a lot of stuff at 118. We are actually outspeeding a lot of things. Actually, um, is Groudon or Kyogre? Uh, Scarf plus. So that gets us to 156 times 1.5. Let me quick math here in my head, not on my phone. You can't see that. I'm not doing it on my phone. 234 or uh, wait, 156 times 1.5. I think it's 234. 234. So, actually, at 118, we do outspeed that. So, I wouldn't mind going for the guy here. What was I about to say? Whimsicott. Whimsicott, actually. So, that gives us a grass guy for a fire water grass core. I'm probably not going to use a, gr a grass attack, though. Uh, well, we'll have Moonblast here. So, I could go for a grass attack. Energy ball. Just to have the coverage. Could be useful. Could be pretty useful. We'll go... Well... Focus Sash, we'll have to use a different thing for the Spectre, but I think that's okay. Uh, we'll just go for the, the Spell Tag. Gives us an extra two per, uh, you know, 1.2 times uh, damage for that Shadow Ball, so that's good. And I think that's good. I think that's good. We'll go for Tailwind. Uh, I think I want Taunt and Protect. Tailwind, it's Energy Ball as well, so Tailwind, Taunt, Protect. I think that's good. So then we have, like, good leads. We have Whimsicott plus Solgaleo, or Spectre plus Solgaleo. Now I want another Pokemon that takes advantage of Tailwind that isn't, doesn't really have to max, but can definitely max, can definitely be flexible to max if we want. Uh, unfortunately, I can't go for something like Kyogre. Kyogre just, like, loves that. Uh, we go, like, Thunderous. Flying would be good. Life Orb is not taken. We could go Thunderous. I don't mind that, actually. Because now my opponent's, like, Intimidate's 100% useless. I guess, like, their Intimidate was already pretty useless, so I don't really need Thunderous. But if I go for any physical attacker, then... On something that is, like, kind of bulky, generically, that would like more bulk that doesn't need to max that sits next to it. Can we think of any typing? So we have a Firewater Grass Core, which is cool. We have Steel, Dragon, Fairy here. We could get a Dragon. I could get Dragapult, but Dragapult really wants to max, and I don't really want something that is good to max. Uh, Garchomp could be cool, but that's not really much damage. I need a damage-dealing Pokemon. I need a strong man in the back that doesn't need to max. Urshifu's a good idea, and we're not weak to Fairy already at all. And Urshifu... Urshifu could be good. Are we weak to anything now? Uh, I did say I wanted a flyer. So that kind of makes me want to use Thunderous even more. Flying, the electric flying. This Ogalio also does not need to max. Fun fact. So this Thunderous, if it's in a good position, could just max. Incineroar sucks against my team, by the way. Like, Incineroar is good against the Solgaleo, like, just because of typing. But it's not going to be taking much damage. We're a very physically defensive Solgaleo. Thunderous, I'd like a flyer. I would like a flyer. Or like levitate like a rotom could work there not rotom wash though not rotom heat i don't really want rotom mo thunderous with tailwind i don't mind it let's go for it let's go for it defiant well we don't really need it but that's okay so like this lead would be like thunderous whimsicott with incineroar and like solgaleo in the back or like incineroar or like solgaleo and tapu Fini in the back i think it's fine i think we'll go for it so fly uh wild charge Superpower. I like that. I like that a lot. I think that's the play. Now we go protect. Uh, we have protect just about everywhere actually on this team. So this is a very uh, me kind of team. I like me some protect. We can go attack and speed the four here. Uh, is there anything we're weak to now? 
I was weak to the ground. Uh, so Galio can just about beat everything I feel like. I feel like it's a very competent Pokemon here. I like it. I think we're going to go with this. Uh, don't overdo it. Don't second guess anything. We'll make some changes if need be. But we're going to play this game. And we're going to see how it goes. If it works well, then no changes. If it doesn't work well, then we'll change it. It's okay. Dragon Ball Colossal could be rough, actually. Zashian in the back. Not too afraid of anything else. Uh, Rillaboom I'm not that afraid of. Intimidate's not really getting anywhere. Fake Out's not getting anywhere. So Galio, Whimsicott. Outspeed, take out the guy. Spectre, speed 2 under. Nothing that outspeeds naturally. We need the Whimsicott to do that. We can just max Quake the Colossal into Oblivion. I wish I had screens. It, Grimmsnarl, so Galio lead would be insane. So Galio, Whimsicott, just take it out. If that takes it out naturally, then that's incredible. I don't think it will, though. We'll have Incineroar in the back, and I kind of want to bring Spectre, but I feel like it won't do anything if it doesn't, like... Well, I guess we can burn the dog. Yeah, we'll just bring Spectre in the back. It's fine. Okay, so he goes for this lead. Uh, so surprising, right? Uh, and yeah, we're just going to go for it. We're going to go just Max Quake into the Colossal and Tailwind. Let's just see if it works. I feel like he's going to set up a screen and protect turn one. I don't think he's going to do it right off the bat. Or he might, like, Breaking Swipe. We wouldn't kill through Protect. I'm just going all in. We're just aggro. Aggressor. We're taking the Aggressor role. Aggressor. I'm the Aggressor today. So Galio Dynamax. Colossal Dynamax. Uh, let's see it. Let's see the knockout. What? Dragon Pulse is still faster? Oh, I was wrong. Oh, I was wrong. Oh, I was wrong. Oh, how I was wrong. We live this easy, and then we take out Colossal. <laughs> okay, so it still worked. Uh, it's just really rough now for the Sogaleo. Why did I think I would outspeed the draft? Wait, I thought I... 118 times 2. What? Am I an idiot? 118 times 2 is 236. Is this Dragapult uh, Choice Scarf? Is that Choice Scarf? Right, 118 times 2 is 236. Choice Scarf, Dragapult. Wow. Guard to take a turn for what, though? Yeah, I think Solgaleo just goes down. I guess we could switch. Switch in Incineroar. Might as well. Minus well. And we'll taunt the Dragapult so it can't... Uh... Okay, we switch. We taunt the Zacian. It can't Swords Dance up, which is good. We'll get an Intimidate on it, so it's just neutral. And then we'll... It can't Swords Dance. It can't Protect as well, which is good. Yeah, the Rillaboom taking out the Solgaleo was too obvious. I couldn't let that happen. Uh, there's not really anything I can do. I guess I can fake out the Zacian, uh, which is good. But we're still not getting anything done here. Switch to Spectre and Will-O-Wisp the Zacian. We don't outspeed, though. We'd have to die last turn for that to have worked. We'll just start nipping away at the Bud. I like that name. Nipping away at the Bud. All right, we break it Sash, which is good. Uh, probably should have just, like... Oh, I don't have Darkest Lair yet. Isn't the high horsepower on Rillaboom? That's not banned, then. It's a Salt Fest, probably. I could Flare Blitz into the Rillaboom. I could have just Flare... I should have just Flare Blitz the Rillaboom last turn. We'll taunt the Dragapult once again, because it's shown its claws of just of just Surf so far. So I, I feel like it's probably its only actual attack. I guess Breaking Swipe is an actual attack, right? It's, a, it's like, it is an attack. Rillaboom doesn't have Protect, so if he just switches the Rillaboom into the dog right now, he's like, he's he's getting boned. Oh, Alright, he's getting boned. <laughs> the Taunted, he's probably Breaking Swiping still. He does have Breaking Swipe, so that's a little annoying. Uh, so Incineroar does not kill the Zacian, probably. Oh, that's rough. Okay, that's rough. But we still do have Fake Out. Fake Out will kill the Zacian, so I just have to get Incineroar out this turn. There's not really any point in preserving the Solgaleo at this point. And Rillaboom is still there, which is really unfortunate. Good energy ball the Zacian. Yeah, I, I guess we just energy ball the Zacian. I think it takes it out. Should take it out. So Galio goes down. Ah, rip. I thought it could, it had a chance to live. It really did have a chance to live there. All right, Zacian goes down because of that grassy terrain. I think that's really the only reason it was able to like live there. Fortunately, he has one turn left, so he can't reset it with Rillaboom, uh, which is really good for us. I'll bring in the Incineroar this turn. Grassy Glide shouldn't take it out. 
Grassy Glide might take it out. No, it won't. It's not a uh, choice band. All right, so Flare Blitz. I'm super slow, unfortunately. I'm 80. Yeah, we just Flare Blitz the Rillaboom. I don't think it has Protect. And I have to... I have to go for uh, Tailwind, unfortunately. Wait, Grassy Glide's the Whimsicott. So it was a good thing I went for Tailwind. I guess I could have gone Protect. That would have been fine, too. Rillaboom die? No? Okay. Incineroar died, though. Ooh. Oof. 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 Taunt's gone. That sucks. We do have Tailwind, though. So I am still out speeding. Shadow Ball takes out Rillaboom with this route? Probably not because of Assault Vest. Should I just Will O Wisp the Rillaboom? Oh, Will O Wisp, Rillaboom? We miss. So cool. So cool. What? How did that do so much damage? Okay. Oh, that was still a good game. Uh, unfortunate. So you do take out Colossal, but it's a rough one. Oh, well. That was a good game. Uh, so we've got Groudon, Charizard, Venusaur, Whimsicott, Incineroar, and P2. So a pretty, uh, pretty normal Groudon team, I'd say. Whimsicott, doubling up on Whimsicott typing, great, uh, the grass is super green here. And we also have double up on the fire typing, so pretty interesting. I mean, I guess, like, with the sun, the water doesn't really matter, and since one's flying, ground doesn't really matter. So, yeah, this is rough for Solgaleo. Yeah, Maybe this is a Thunderous game. Thunderous on lead with Wim. I don't mind that. I feel like that's good. Tapu Fini doesn't really get much mileage here. It just dies to the Venusaur. Spectre, so Galio in the back. Incineroar isn't doing a lot. I guess it's not doing not a lot. We'll go so Galio and we'll go uh, the Spectre in the back. I think I like that. All right, so he goes for a Whimsicott Groudon lead to contest my Whimsicott lead. That's a good, uh, a good one there. Groudon is really slow, though. Even if it's max speed, it's not all speeding me. Unless it's, like, Scarf, which would be crazy. Yeah, this is not good, though. This is not what we wanted into the Groudon. He had Proceed Blade, though, which is good. I guess I could, like, Wild Charge into the Whim, right? Or we could just, like, Protect and see what he goes for turn one. He might go... He's probably going to go, like, Fire Punch into the Thunder slot. He might Giga Drain Weakness Policy. What if he did that? Taunt Whim's caught turn one? I'm okay with that. He's going to Giga Drain. He's going to Giga Drain. Oh, he was going for a Tailwind? And I won the Outspeed? Interesting enough. Uh, so actually, we're out of the sun now. I think I just want to Wild Charge into the Whim and, and get up Tailwind now. Yeah, I, I like that play. I like that play. We're going to take out... No, wait. That doesn't take out Whimsicott. Uh, but, oh well, I can't Energy Ball into the Groudon. Uh, too bad I don't have Moonblast, because then Moonblast plus the... Like, we'd probably take out Whimsicott with Wild Charge and Moonblast. But, oh well. P2 gets a Special Attack upgrade, which is really rough. There's still a decent little chunk there. Do we see a Rockfall again? Or probably Max Flare at this point. Max Lightning into the Thunderous. Interesting, interesting play. Um, but that's okay. We get our Sogaleo in now, which is good. I think I just Max Guard this turn, because then we dodge the Groudon attack. I think that's what we go for. And unfortunately, now we have Tailwind up. So now it's P2. We just taunt it. So you can't trick room it. I have to do this play. I think it's fine. I really want to get Spectre in, but I don't know. Maybe he'll uh, call it out and hit the Whimsicott. And then we'd get Spectre in. But oh well. All right. We eat his last turn, which is good. And now we have Solgaleo uh, Sol in, which is really strong here. I mean, it's not that good against Groudon. To be honest, I should have prepped better for Groudon and, and brought something else, but we do have Whimsicott for some damage, so that's good. He went for Trick Room? He did go for Trick Room. Uh, Lightning does literally nothing. Steel Spike and Quake both do very little. I think we just start Steel Spiking in, and I guess we go for an Energy Ball into the Groudon. It would really suck if it was Weakness Policy, and I feel like it is. Okay, it's not, and then Double takes it out. Uh, so Groudon's not a big worry anymore. Porygon 2 is not doing anything. I mean, it did that, but that's fine. Like, I don't need the Whimsicott anymore. I guess, like, having Taunt for his Whimsicott would still be good, but it's whatever. And now we have, uh, now we have the, the Fabled combo in. He has no Dynamax left. It's looking good. I think we just Quake the P2 at this point. Quaking the P2, because it, it can't protect, and just go for a Bulldoze. Break the Sash on the Whim. It's already broken. He's going to protect the Whim. He's got to protect the Whim. Oh, he just Tailwinds. Okay. That's an interesting play. I feel like I would uh I feel like I would have gone for protect on the whim, but he might also not have the the protect on the whim. And how did that not take out the P2 actually? Wow, that's insane luck for my opponent. And tail and uh the thing is gone now. That's crazy. 
All right, we'll steel strike the the Whimsicott. Now he protects if he has it. And uh, we just bulldoze again to take out the P2. That's unfortunate that the P2 lived at 1, one HP. That's actually really, really unfortunate for me. How did the P2... It missed the P2? It just took no damage? What? Oh, I'm so confused at that, actually. What? Hmm. That's unfortunate. I should have just burned the... Well, I guess burning the P2 wouldn't have mattered anyway. My opponent has Tailwind up. I don't. So Galio lives, though. Plus one special defense. We live in Earth Power. Easy. Shadow Ball doesn't take out Venusaur. I just have to go for it. And he hits a Sleep Powder because my opponent's like a champion. We still two shot though, uh, which is good. P2 is gonna go for another recover, and that's fine. He's gonna protect this turn, so we go for a Sun Steel Strike into that. We probably won't wake up, but it's fine. My opponent is a champion with his, uh, you know, living the P2. His RNG has actually been unreal. The RNG has actually just been unreal, but he quit. He still won. Yo, this song's a bop. <laughs> I bet. Uh, that was a good game. I'm gonna leave it there. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe. It makes a huge difference. It really does. Have a great weekend. Goodbye.